هذا هو اليوم الذي صنعه الرب فلنفرح ولنتهلل به المسيح قام من بين الأموات ووطئ الموت بالموت ووهب الحياة للذين في القبور المسيح قام من بين الأموات ووطئ الموت بالموت ووهب الحياة للذين في القبور Christos anesti epne kron thanaton, thanaton batisas, keti sentith ni masi zoif karis amenos. Well, welcome back everybody. It's been a while. <laughs> it's been about a week uh, of the, during uh, Holy Week for uh, of Greek Easter. Just the week prior. There wasn't a large a lot of time for vlogging. Uh, so let me give you a time and date stamp. It is two hours and twenty five minutes into the day of Monday, May second, two thousand sixteen. I'd like to say Christos Anesti, Christ is risen. Uh, that's the uh, greeting that uh, we give. Uh, and you will be seeing a different opening theme uh, for the next 50 days anyways until Pentecost. Uh, I will be uh, uh, using the open, this new opening theme, which is basically, uh, I'm going to call it the song for the season. So, uh, most Greeks will know it. Uh, a number of the uh, Middle Eastern Christians will know this as well. So, uh, that's the way we're going to end up doing things. It, 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 things are moving along. It's just that it's, uh, it's the same stuff that, that's always occurring. I'm either missing days, in the, uh, sort of days in the schedule, or I'm uh, not sleeping properly. Like, like it's 2 o'clock in the morning or 2.30 in the morning, and I haven't been able to sleep properly, so... I'm up doing bits and pieces of work uh, until I'm tired enough to go back to bed again. But, uh, that was happened Thursday was an all-nighter as well because I spent all night in church. Uh, but, uh, it didn't end up being too much of an all-nighter because, uh, or one thirty in the morning, uh, I began to experience a uh, sleep deprivation crash where the body, the, uh, the energy leaves the body. There's no not enough energy to move around anymore and you basically have to go to bed because this you really can't do you, you, your body is simply not functioning you're not functioning anymore due to the level of fatigue sort of the sleep deprivation uh, and that's sort of the, the, the crash that go that, that you go on uh, you get into when uh, you get to this point of sleep deprivation so in other words I kind of had miscalculated things and uh, went into the Easter week uh, too heavily sleep deprived uh, to uh, vlog normally, so there's going to be uh, a number of days missing uh, from uh, the vlog. But you know, it's not necessarily a bad thing, anyways, because uh, uh, it helps us get caught up. Uh, basically, next Monday will be uh, there will be no difference between well, maybe two or three day difference between uh, the time the vlog is shot. And when it's uploaded, it's not going to be uh, a two-week period anymore. It's going to be uh, just within a couple of days. So we'll be all caught up uh, uh, on next Monday. So so next Monday, next weekend, uh, look for that. Look for the uh, the beginnings of uh, uh, <coughs> a vlog that is more current rather than Sort of backdated for a couple days. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna leave this here for now because I am tired. And, uh, sorry, and things that were supposed to be coming to my mind just aren't. So <laughs> you think you think have you, you think you have something to say, and you turn the camera on, and when you start going through it and actually saying something, the the words disappear. So. Uh, I'll, uh, see you in the next segment of, uh, Big Bang Theory's uh, BTS vlog. Alright, take it easy. 
Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to the uh, next segment of the BTS vlogs. So, I say good morning to you, so Ah, uh, Christ is risen, Misiham. So that's Greek, English, and Arabic. Um, we give you a time and date stamp. It is 13 hours and 30 minutes into the day of Tuesday, May 3rd. Uh, 2016. Yeah, but we're starting off the day now, so this is uh, a good morning to you. From my, from my perspective, anyway, because I'm just uh, uh, getting started. The day is going to get started. I haven't had breakfast yet. That's what's on next is breakfast, and then uh, I still have to do some more fixing up on Cyborg Alpha TV Network before the uh, next episode goes up, which should be sometime later today. And. Uh, I have a number of other uh, projects scheduled to be filmed as well, so uh, yay for that. I said, uh, as of uh, next week, uh, we should be uh, our uh, vlogging uh, sort of discrepancy should be gone. In other words, we should be current with our vlogs uh, as of uh, next Monday. Uh, well, this coming Monday, anyway, so because we just passed Monday. So that's that's definitely a good sign. Um, in order to do that, we will be I will be uploading every single day. You know, when it, when if, if if there's ever a backlog, and I can't upload, I miss a couple of other things go beyond a week. The way I'll be catching up is I'll be uploading every single day uh, for the BTS vlog. I mean, there's gonna be more content coming, so. There's gonna be, gonna be almost a upload every single day, anyways. But uh, uh, if there is a backlog, then uh, we're gonna have uh, sort of catch up on things, and then we have to do extra uploading. So uh, we're working. I'm working on that, and uh, so the next thing I had to do right now is breakfast. But I also have to do some cleaning in the uh, kitchen, in the kitchen, the kitchen diner. To uh, make room for new projects that are going to come in, uh, so that uh, I want to sort of fix up my short order menu, and uh, have the ability to do multiple things at the same time, uh, have multiple uh, dishes being prepared at the same time. That's what we're working on next. Is sort of, yeah, I can get the single dishes going. You know, I can get a good meal together for in terms of short order, but now I want to do multiple stuff. So let's say I want to have a combination of sandwiches. Uh, for lunch or for dinner or whatever, I can do multiple things and have them plated uh, or, or approximately at the same time. And that's so that's the, uh, the sort of goal. The next goal is that. So that's what we're starting to work on uh, uh, in just a few minutes. I was looking at some other vlogs and they were talking about procrastination, particularly uh, uh, Nerd Zarel, uh, Cassandra at Nerd Zarel. And. Uh, they're talking about procrastination, and, uh, <laughs> and you see when she talk about working her night shoots and working at nights, how it throws the sense of the day off in misjudging days because she's moving, and she thought she had a a, a, a closer window to move uh, in terms of and, uh, not a closer window, but sort of an, an easier time, uh, an easier way of moving in terms of uh, not in terms of having extra time. But it turns out that when she sat down and she thought about it, she didn't. Uh, and that's sort of what happens is that when you're working late nights, it throws your days off. It throws your sense of time off. And uh, that's sort of no exception here. And as you can see that it does uh, cause these, uh, <laughs> these uh, malfunctions of the mind, if you will. Uh, so... I'm going to leave that here for now. I'm going to see if sure. I do have now a third camera. I was able to fix up the uh, old camera that fell over. It's sort of it's now the backup. I'm going to, I have been able to fix it up. I'm going to run a couple test shots uh, today and tomorrow. And we'll see how things work out. And if they work out all right, then uh, uh, we can uh, start looking forward to uh, outdoor shots now within the vlog. So... Right now, it's just been confined to here because I didn't want to take the cam this new camera out. Uh, now I do have I do have a camera that I can take out, and uh, we'll see how that ends up working out. Anyways, uh, I will see you in the next segment of uh, Big Bang Theory's uh, BTS vlog. Until then, 
Have a good day. Oh, hello everybody. It's been a day. But it's not the first, Not it's not good morning for me, especially in the middle of the day. So, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, yeah. It's, uh, so time and date stamp. It is two hours. And, uh, yeah, it's just two hours. Uh, it's 14 hours into the day of Wednesday, May 4th, 2000, 2016. So, yay for that. Um, what am I thinking of right now? Look at my keys. It's been a day of uh, technical issues. I've spent most of the day, uh, from just about 11 till now, debugging problems with the network. I actually ended up getting a new router today in, in, in the mail. I had ordered it last week, and it took about a week to get here, so... Uh, but I had another pro. I had another router. Uh, let's begin at the beginning here. Uh, last week, sometime, I think it was the beginning of the week, my uh, router blew out. So I had. I, I just put in a spare one. Uh, got back. Uh, put a fair one in and then that lasted till just about today actually the router was working fine and then today just as the router came in I was gonna say oh, I'll, I'll leave it I'll leave the work till tomorrow but last night uh, well, around midnight I began having problems where the systems the uh, network started going down and by just about uh, 1 one thirty today I decided oh, let's just swap out the router rather than just sort of you know trying to work with the router that I had put in place uh, it's just as much it's much work to put in the new router swap out the old the, the run that I had as sort of the backup uh, swap the backup out and put the new one in uh, and did that and uh, everything came back alright so now it's time for food shopping uh, I don't need a jacket I do have an umbrella in there just in case it rains and it's time to go. So the ice packs are in the bag. And it's time to me for, for me to go out the door. I don't know why this backpack always feels heavy, <laughs> even when it's empty. Uh, particularly when I'm, I guess I'm I'm, st I'm still a little fatigued and stuff like that, so uh, I guess that's normal. Anyways, I'll see you when I get back. <clears throat> Needless to say, I'm back. <laughs> yeah, a lot of times when I've been looking at the videos as I've uh, processed them, and you see me going out and then. Second later, I'm back again, uh, looking like I haven't gone anywhere, but I did indeed go, you know, food shopping. Uh, so, I'm back, and I've got to unpack things now. Uh, you think, uh, well, I normally think a lot anyways, regardless of whether there's... Something specific to think about or not, there's always something popping up into my mind. So, <laughs> uh, thanks to the spending of uh, the Canadian government, food prices have gone up again. Uh, they tell you, oh yeah, inflation is low, inflation is low, there's no problem with it, no, no double digit inflation. But let's look, take a look at it here. I was paying five dollars for milk. Milk now is seven dollars. It went up from four to seven dollars. The same bag for the same bag of milk. So let's 
take a look and see what, 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 what we're looking at in terms of uh, we're looking at a two dollar increase in terms of a percentage of inflation right so we're looking at uh, let's see two dollars we started off at five dollars ten percent of five dollars is fifty cents Fifty cents times four gives you two dollars. So the milk went up forty percent. So we have a forty percent increase in milk. That means we have a forty percent increase in inflation. And these are the hidden. These are the numbers that are not being broadcast out to the general public, the, the, most of the public have no idea what's actually happening in terms of food prices, in terms of how much they're actually going up. And this is socialism. This, this One of the reasons why there hasn't been the economic recovery seen in the streets the way, oh yeah, things are going well, you know, Obama's done a great job, uh, things are improving, they're moving up, they're getting better. Well, why are there more cities that? Why is there the inflation that you're seeing in the United States? That's because the economy is not doing well. And a lot of it has to do with the fact that the government doesn't stop spending. And the thing is, the Canadian government now, both because it's liberal, has started spending like there's no tomorrow, and the food and everything, all the prices are going up. Your electrical costs are going up, your gas prices are going up, even though the, the prices that you see. Uh, You know the prices you see in the oil market, you see the oh, oil, oil is going down, it's at its all time low. Why are gas prices going up? Well, they're going up because of taxes, and particularly the so called carbon taxes. And the thing is, every time you hear, oh, yeah, the climate change debate is over, there's, there's no more discussion about it, everybody now agrees that climate change is here, they tell you, oh, the solution to this is more government taxes. So they haven't, they haven't, they haven't engineered a solution to anything. They're fundamentally in the same, you know, bad economic situation as we were before. And now they're telling us sorry, that the only way to solve the problem is to keep giving them more money and trust that they'll come up with a solution. Well, good luck. Uh, I don't trust the government for anything. Uh, I think a lot of people are in the same boat. We don't trust the government f for anything. And so why would you elect a person who says we're going to bring you more government? It's not about liking the other guy in terms of well, liking Donald Trump. It's that, you know, on the Republican side, they're talking about less government, so you're going to go for the guy who is going to give you less government. The government now is so bad that the guy who might be not so good and is talking about, about less government has actually demonstrated he's less government. He's not part of the establishment, the government establishment. Why is he so popular? Because he's not part of the government. That's the only reason why. Their people are so sick to death of the government, they don't want anyone who's near the government at all. And I don't blame them. I'm the same way. I, you know, I don't want the government around. You know, basically most the the, the liberal side of things, the socialist type of thing, who are tell, talk about how they're so intellectual. They're morons. The by and the thing is, this isn't an this isn't an insult. This is by definition that they're morons. The entire social system, the whole the way it's set up, only the political elite are the ones who are intelligent. Everybody else is part of what's called the herd. And the herd is the masses, is, is the, is the uh, untamed masses that need to be herded and rounded up like morons uh, by the political elite to create a, a better social environment. But it's never occurred. It's, you know, the, we see this in the Soviet Union. We saw this in China. 
under communism and socialism there. We saw all this under the Nazis. This was all social. We've seen this again in, in Europe, what, what happened in Europe. Uh, this is the second time this is actually happening, that Europe is going bankrupt like this. This is not the first time this happened again in, in the 70s. But no one, no, no one in, uh, on the socialist side of things goes back and say, yeah, we made a mistake, you know, uh, yeah, maybe this isn't a good idea. Their view is, they have nothing to do with us. This time will be different. We will succeed this time. In other words, they're fatally optimistic. And they never learn from their mistakes. They simply ignore their mistake and say, oh, it wasn't our fault. And they produce the next round of uh, fatally optimistic people. And the thing is, this, this, this is, this is, and it, we're going to be on this merry-go-round for as long as this continues on. So, anyways, um, I'm going to have something to eat and I'll have some breakfast. I haven't had any breakfast yet. Uh, let me give you a time and date stamp. <coughs> it is uh, 15 hours and 24 minutes into the day of uh, Wednesday, May 4th, 2016. So, yeah, I will maybe see you after lunch uh, or sort of after breakfast. And then we'll go from there. All right, take it easy. Well, hello everybody. It's been a while. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> as I said before, when there are gaps in the vlog, that means there is issues going on here. That um, and it's usually just fatigue. It's not serious issues. It's just sort of fatigue issues and uh, working on uh, product. There's a lot going through my mind, so. Uh, there's simply not enough time to vlog, or it sort of it goes out of my mind that uh, I'm supposed to be vlogging. Anyway, it's uh, let me give you a time and date stamp so to give you an idea that we're back in our usual uh, messed up schedule. It is two hours and seven minutes into the day of Monday, May 9th, uh, 2016. Yeah, uh, <laughs> it's been a week of of mishaps, uh, interruptions, and you name it. But the, efficient, the efficiency model allows you to get through things that you normally wouldn't get through or you wouldn't think it'd get through it. Uh, and so here we are. Uh, <clears throat> the primary issue here is, uh, if we want to sort of look at it this way, the primary issue here is uh, for the last two weeks uh, since the beginning of uh, the first week of in going into Pascha and coming out of Pascha, and you'll notice that there's going to be a different uh, uh, opening theme that's related to the next 50 days. We're, in, in, we're going to celebrate Easter, Greek Easter, what are called Pascha, for 50 days. So um, this is uh, the opening theme in relationship to that. But uh, I've had uh, network mishaps. Uh, two ro two routers blew out. I well, the first router blew out was stopped working. Uh, basically uh, last Monday Tuesday. I think it was. Oh uh, no! It was two 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 Mondays ago. Everything stopped working. And so I put in a, uh, I put in a uh, backup router, and then just a little bit after past, I think it was a uh, Tuesday and Wednesday of last week, uh, the backup router went up. But fortunately, I knew right away that you know when the, as soon as the router, the first router blew out, uh, I didn't wait. I ordered a new one, and the new one actually ar arrived on Wednesday night. On Wednesday, uh, just in time for uh, just as the uh, second router, the backup router, uh, started behaving in a very bizarre manner, where it kept going up and down, was up and down uh, throughout the uh, uh, day. It wasn't stable, and so I put the new router in rather than sort of uh, waiting and. Uh, <laughs> And so now we're finally back up, and I finally just just did the final configuration for the uh, 
new rotor, uh, sort of now I'm sort of getting back to sort of organizing the network. I have to do some uh, net network audits, and this will sort of bring things back into a uh, a more stable situation. Uh, I also have the the second camera now, the uh, the backup camera, uh, the one that had fallen over. That one, I've got that one set up again. Put a new memory card in it, and I've got a. Tr I, have, I was supposed to film this weekend, but uh, things didn't work out that well this weekend in terms of uh, amount of free time to vlog, uh, particularly outside, and so that kind of fell by the wayside. And I'm gonna try to do something either tonight or, tom or not tonight, but tomorrow or uh, Tuesday. And what it's gonna mean now is the way things are working out is that. We're more or less caught up. Uh, right now, uh, I have to do... I have to, tomorrow, on Monday, I have to put stuff into the editing bay. I have to put clips into the editing bay and do an edit tomorrow because uh, there is no episode... Uh, there are no more backlog... There's no more backlog of an episode. So uh, what's going to come out on the clip is going to be just a couple days out. It, the new episodes now are just going to be a couple days out. So... Uh, looking forward to that, you know, that we have a current vlog rather than something that's backlogged two weeks. Uh, and that's kind of going to be a new challenge to sort of uh, make sure that I do things on a timely basis and make sure that enough content comes out. So uh, that's the what's going to be on schedule for tomorrow or the next couple of hours anyway. It's not tomorrow. <laughs> I mean, I'm one of those, I'm one of those bizarre... Uh, uh, schedules again that and this is what happened over the weekend I couldn't sleep properly and so it was up and down every few hours so I would go to sleep for a couple hours I was awake for a couple hours go to sleep for a couple hours awake for a couple hours and that's how the weekend went <laughs> the thing is when you like that in that sort of that situation it's the, the vlogging kind of just sort of slips your mind and so, anyways, I'm just doing some last write-ups and uh, watching my open IPTV, and I'll probably go back to bed again. So, I'll see what, if I am aiming for to get up. Let's say it's two o'clock now. If I get up around six or seven, <coughs> <coughs> yeah, the cough is back. Uh but it's it's related to it's related to dry throat. My my body is a little dry right now, so I'm gonna have uh, something more to eat and uh, huh. then uh, finish watching uh, my open IP TV, and I'll see what's gonna be on. I'll have to sort of go look at everything that needs to be done tomorrow and see when I'm gonna begin the schedule when I'm gonna begin the day. Anyways, I think that's it for now, and I will see you in the next segment of uh, Big Bang Theory L's BTS Vlogs. Alright, take it easy. Democratic Earth. Earth.